What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jay, my Apocalypse here, and we are playing some more Star Wars Squadrons. Now, excuse me while I move some things out of my way. Oh, that's working. Okay, it's working. Where are we? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, I don't like that. Frisk and Gunny. What do we got, Frisk? What do we got, Gunny? Instead of blowing up that listening post, we should have commandeered it. Not wrong, not wrong. Imagine the kind of fun we could have had messing with the Imperials. Agreed, agreed. Or the credits we could make. Ooh, true. Uh, as your squad leader, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just hear that. Come on, Gunny. You telling me the New Republic couldn't use more intel? True. And you know war ain't cheap. True. Actually, that's a good point. I guess once you steal a Star Destroyer, everything Imperial starts to look tempting. True, true. You know, we used to be rebels. We turn into a legit republic, and suddenly we all gotta stay on the straight and narrow. The commander's lining up a trap for Teresa Carroll. Yeah. That's not enough of a con for you? Yeah. <laughs> in the old days, I trick her for everything but a pair of boots to stand in. <laughs> I was speaking with you, not wearing boots. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at the iron. He's right, he's right. It's a big white wing bomber. Now, how about we get some actual work done? Agreed. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Hit me with it. Congratulations. Because you captured the Star Destroyer Victorum, our Starhawk prototype has been completed ahead of schedule. Awesome. This thing looks like a giant hammer. They believe it's still under construction. Okay. Mr. Carroll will keep hunting Project Starhawk until it's destroyed. That makes sense. That's something nice. Using that decoy message I sent... We're going to set up an ambush. The uh, false intel stated that you're protecting a shipment of magnite crystals essential to completing the Starhawk. With this bait, we'll draw Teresa and the Overseer deep into the Xavian Abyss. But that's a highly volatile a, area of space. It's not good. Here is where we set our trap. Where? Don't worry about the convoy. It's empty and droid piloted. Okay. However, that does mean you'll need to clear any obstructions from its path. Vanguard? I want you to defend that convoy with everything you've got. Copy that, Captain. You need to make this look good. Your destination is this bottleneck. Okay. There. Good spot. The Starhawk will be waiting to disable the overseer, and hopefully, capture Teresa. Nice. It might sound simple, but nothing is simple in the Xavian Abyss. True. True. Brace yourselves. Uh, what do we got from? Uh, let's talk to Ardo first. What do we got, Ardo? If Linden's right. This plan could knock Teresa Carroll off our tail. Also, your arms so look awesome. Ask me. Lyndon's convinced himself that he's put us in danger. I don't see how. No. Well, can't make him focus on the bigger picture while Teresa's still in it. The commander's a smart man. True, but true. everyone has someone who can push their buttons. Agreed. That's you guys out there who push, push my buttons. Too. We'll give Teresa a harmless convoy to follow. Play this out. Yeah, play the long game. How far we can lead her. It's all about playing the long game. Always how I play most war games. I always play for the long one. Occupied Moncala. I learned how to string Imperials along. Oh, if you interesting. Say harmless, people underestimate you. True, true. I spent a lot of time around. J the thus, period. the quiet kid in schools. The dumb alien, a bartender, a sweeper, someone safe. Yeah, don't want to put yourself in too big of a profile. Rebellion would know everything I'd overheard. It wasn't easy, but I learned to stay patient and wait for opportunities. Remember, the Xavian Abyss is no place for the faint-hearted. I ain't faint-hearted, and I ain't got no heart either. Yeah. Keep your eyes and ears open, all right? Okay. Uh, Javes, where are you? Starhawk's crew. More than ready. I selected the crew personally based on their expertise and experience. Good. They've been training for months. That's good. I appreciate your support on this, General. It's a good plan. That's the uh, lady from. Just be uh, careful. I know you have a past with the Overseer's captain. From uh, Star Wars Captain's Rebels, if I'm not wrong. One moment, General. Sorry, I can't talk right now. No problem. I understand. The squadron is waiting. He seemed a little pissed in there. That's, uh, General Sindula, if I'm correct. Let's talk to Frisk. 
He's my he's my second favorite on the team. So the boss wants to pull the old bait and switch on Teresa. Yep. I must be rubbing off on him. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, too true. Of course, the key to a good con is selling it. And going into the Xavian Abyss, well, either you're too naive to know better, or you think it's worth the risk. Like, I swear say, the floor is vibrating. Starhawk from being finished. True. Teresa Carroll's risking the abyss just for the chance to destroy some magnite crystals. Yeah, cocky bitch. Ain't she in for a surprise? Also, are my landing gears missing? I'm kind of excited to see our Starhawk tackle Teresa's flagship. All I think it's. Oh no, it's. Those work their tails off to get it finished. Yeah. That's one good thing about this new republic. We're finally punching at the same weight as the Empire. Yeah, you gotta go one, two, three. One way or another, this is gonna be a show. Hmm, I got a nice chest. I really don't. Uh, let's talk to Grace. What's up, Grace? I've heard tales of the Xavian Abyss. They say it's swallowed entire fleets without a trace. Oh, okay, so I was wrong. brand new Starhawk in there is quite the gamble. Agreed. Commander Javes must have complete faith in its builders. I mean, I wouldn't. And in us, or would, course, sorry. That's my bad. The ones making this ruse work after all. Yeah, I hate my life. I took the liberty of studying the Starhawk's blueprints. Really? It's not just another capital ship. What is it? It's a defense against Imperial fleets. Every spare inch is packed with lasers and munitions. But what really caught my eye... Oh, Super Star Destroyer? Beam. Wait, what? Tractor Beam? Of the blueprints, the Starhawk's Tractor Beam is ten times more powerful than that of a Star Destroyer. Fuck. It's incredible. Might as well have a Death the Star. The crystals they use in the Starhawk's Tractor Beam are quite rare. Really? I think they salvaged a few from the Star Destroyer we captured. Nice. My family spent an exorbitant amount of credit sourcing magnite crystals. Really? You guys did so that? Damn. to see them go to a good cause. Very. Let's put our new Starhawk through its paces. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Uh, prepare for launch. Oh, I get to pick. Definitely gonna pick that. Okay. They've all got pros and cons. Check the schematics and let me know what'll suit you. Okay, I'm gonna keep with that. Uh, let's see what the hull is. Um. That'll be fun. Yeah, minus ten's not too bad. Shields. What do we got? Shield regeneration a little faster. Oh God! Slower the max speed and excel. Slower max speed and acceleration, but with faster turns. Ah, uh, launch this motherfucker! Let's go. Oh, it's still fucked up in the headset. Although that looks awesome. Although I feel like the capital ships for most Republic games are like hammers. Also, is that the Sabian Abyss? Oh wow, it is. As you can see, I wasn't exaggerating about the dangers of the Sabian Abyss. What do you mean? Yeah. Look at that lightning. The, the thunder. Thunder. Sorry, I should really stop singing before I get Al copyright claim. Good luck, Vanguard. Protect that convoy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow oh, convoy. You can feel it, right? Yeah. Chaos on every side. We don't belong here. No, I don't I think we do. Yeah, me too. Hey, what happens once the Starhawk disables the Overseer? Yeah. The same as the Victorum, I expect. Board it, lock its systems, and take the crew prisoner. Ah. I can't imagine Teresa Carroll coming along quietly. No, I can't. I hate these clouds. Me too. Who knows what's out there? We know what's out there. A star destroyer with a captain who wants us dead. Oh. Real helpful. Thanks, yeah. Kenny. The convoy 
Boy's droid autopilot ain't smart enough to steer through these asteroids. Oh, come on, you're telling me. You're telling me you can make. You can make droids that can, uh. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, look. A Star Destroyer. I don't think that's a Star Destroyer. Look at the top. I'd say it's been here a long while. It's a Venator class Republic cruiser. That's the old Republic, the Clone Wars. It's one more that looks like a medical frigate over there, if I'm not wrong. Whoa! I never expected to see Clone Wars in here. That's awesome. Where? Oh shit! Where the fuck are they? There they are! Oh! That had to hurt. That interceptor's mine. Got him. Where's the next one? Oh! Spiraled out of control, buddy. I think I killed three and one. Oh, he did. There's the next bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. Where? Oh. Motherfuckers. Got him. So that means they can't be too far. There we go. So that means they can't be too far. Ow. Sorry for that one. There he is. Ah, shit. Signal's breaking up. Let's yeah. push on. The entry point is this way. Ready? Let's go. Okay, we are set. Everything seems to be falling. Plan. Defend the comm. 
Oh, shite! How could you challenge an Imperial Star Destroyer? We need to clear the convoy's path. The Overseer's almost in range. <laughs> Guess Teresa decided to handle this convoy herself. Got it. I got the cold sweat on my neck. Stay focused. I am. I'm very focused on the Star Destroyer right behind me. Agreed. Trapped with nowhere to go. Launch fighters. More Imperial fighters. Check behind. Got him. You see that shot? That'll leave a mark. Destroy time armor. There's more of these motherfuckers? There he is. God, that's a lot of fighters. Let's go after this motherfucker. I'm trying. Come on, tractor beam, charge faster. I'm trying. There's my motherfucker right there. That's a lot of fucking fighters. There's a lot of things there. I can't even see and I'm hitting them. Well, hurry the fuck up. I like not being shot. Jesus Christ. I'm on you, sons of bitches. That's a big ass starter for her, too. Withdraw through the bottleneck to a safe position. You brought this on yourself, to 
first. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I gotta see this one. Damn, what's happening? I'm not sure about that one, buddy. Not sure. Hasta la vista! <laughs> it's tearing the ship through there. Oh no. It's destroying everything. Damn! That thing's got some beam! Oh! Well, that TIE Fire's a little stuck, ain't he? Oh, shit! Yeah. Nope. Toss the overseer around like a low threat. Good. Lousy Imperials deserve payback with interest. Agreed. Shall we just build a Death Star and get it over with? <laughs> oh, come on, Grace. We're still the good guys. Anyhow, we won, right? Yeah. Wherever they jumped, no ship's coming back from that. Ah. Let's hope so. Well, that just fucking blew open the ships. Far and wide. Damn. That got some damage. Well, that was fucking awesome. Got fully escorted and during service mount. We got everything. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. So if you boys and girls have not subscribed yet, hit the like button or etc. I suggest you do that and I will see all you great people in the next episode of Star Wars. Bye bye